Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tim Unscripted. Today, I'm going to walk through the use of the new Perplexity app. It's been available on phones for a while, and recently it was launched on uh, Windows. I believe it's also available on the Mac OS. You'll have to check on that. One of the features that I use frequently is the spaces. I find it's very useful to help me organize the types of work and research that I'm doing on um, the Perplexity platform. When I get onto a topic, say, you know, product development research, I oftentimes will create an initial thread and use that thread as a starting point for wherever my research goes. Now, threads can be a little bit challenging to manage because I find myself sorting through various threads using the search feature in perplexity to figure out exactly what thread it was that I was working on last on a particular topic. The spaces have helped me organize those concepts together. Keeping that information consolidated has helped me actually accelerate my use and make better use of the overall tooling that Perplexity offers as far as a large language model system, in addition to its ability to research the internet and pull in relevant topical information to support the synthesized response. Something you might want to look into for your own research. Uh, I am a pro user, so... I pay my premium each month. If you're really going to dig into the use of large language models and particularly tools like Perplexity and other computing products, this is something that you want to look out for. It'll just help you organize and streamline what you're doing in these tools and help you kind of keep all of your thoughts together in one place. You've reached the end of this episode of Tim Unscripted, and I hope that what I've shared you found some value.